the FIFA E World Cup and a very, very exciting thing. We've been talking about this for a long time as a community, a sort of World Cup where you represent your nation. This is mm-hmm. different than the eSports World Cup. That's a club competition. The FIFA E World Cup, it hasn't been announced where it's going to be, but it has been announced it's going to be a LAN. Mm-hmm. And there's going to be online qualifiers for each nation to send their best three players based on the ones that were selected. It's going to be super fun. I will be I will be hopefully receiving a JNAPS Team Canada jersey. That's all I really want from this. Oh, to be man. honest with you. I'm going to wear it everyone wear it to the club. I told my friend, I was like, I'm going to wear a Drufinho jersey, Brazil jersey to the club and just tell everyone he's a midfielder and everyone's going to believe me. They'd it's be going like, to be yeah. great. No, I love yeah, him. Totally love yeah. him. Yeah. <laughs> he rocks. Um, but yeah, so I feel like there's five big countries that we think about that could actually win this thing. Uh, France, England from Europe, and then... USA, um, Saudi Arabia, and Brazil. Mm -hmm. But each country kind of has a team that will probably compete together and bet on that they're either that they have the best three players or that their chemistry will put them over other kind of like compilations of random players. And I think for me, it's oxygen for England, Mm -hmm. right? Because Oski can compete as an English player. Uh, Vitality for France, actually the only all French team in this whole French thing. Yeah. Um, because uh, Drali is Canadian. Leave. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. And he's also Moroccan, so he's I not know, French. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's Canadian. <laughs> but yeah, he'll be competing with Jane Apps and Squishy, Prime Squishy. Excellent. Uh, we're going to win. What about um, Sosa? Sosa's not on the team? He's going to be our sub, and uh, he'll be doing Double Tap Playground while we're winning the event. That's a good spot. Um, I'm going to go. Uh, and then, we, yeah, we have obviously Furia Falcons and G2 for the US, Brazil, and Saudi Arabia. So, my question to you, and we're going to go through a little quick exercise. Mm-hmm. If you had to pull up with a team of players from that nationality to like try to beat that team and all their chemistry and their play styles and the fact they're going to have, you know, so much precedent, what would that roster be? So we'll go through, we'll start off with the least fun one, uh, France. Yeah. Um, I'm, I went ahead. So my kind of thing when going through this was that I wanted to take two thirds of a team and just add somebody. Cause I think that's easier for continuity. So okay. all of my, all of mine, except for, I believe, England, are two-thirds of a team, and then you add a third. So my team, very, very simple, is you take uh, you take the world-beating regional team in BDS. Uh, you take the uh, this year's BDS, sorry, that's one, two regionals. You take the LAN finals BDS team of last season. You squish them together, take Exotic, Seiko, Monkey Moon, three LAN winners, three legends of this game, two of the... Th- four best open era players. I think that they could beat Vitality. I think they would beat Vitality because there's some continuity on both ends. That's an excellent team. This is where the caveat that I gave earlier about not wanting to copy your homework really comes into play because <laughs> I probably would have had a lot of the same rosters you do. I think we still have mm-hmm. overlap. Um, but I, in an endeavor to not do exactly what you did, got to start with Monkey Moon. Yeah. And then I went, Juicy and Vatira. I'm just thinking a little it's bit of everything. Two different teams, though, like in terms of like the the kind of like play style, right? I feel like they would be a lot. Different. I would be so worried about Monkey Moon, Vatira, and Juicy. That team is like so like all in or so bad. Like yeah, but I think you'd have to convince Vatira to go back to like being Queso Vatira, where he that's was like what a I'm Daniel saying. Regen. That's what I'm saying. Then you're just the Falcons, right? You have like a midfielder, an attacker, and a defender, which yeah. that could work. But I think, yeah, my team is more just straight up like we're going to play like BDS and we're just going to pray that beats Vitality. Ton of cohesion, like your team way yeah. more than mine. Yeah. But the problem is, is I also have Monkey Moon and Seiko who seemingly could not get away from each other faster after the season ended. So mm-hmm. we're going to pretend that that didn't happen, that they're all, they've, I'm sure they've kissed and made up. It's all you know, kumbaya. Sometimes it's just got to be a way. Yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll hold with that. Um, let's move on to England. We'll finish the Europe, Europe ones. Sure. Um, I actually changed this one and did copy your homework. And here's I saw why. that because I originally had Appjack, Rise and Resi because I was like, I feel like Nolly's the obvious answer, but that's kind of a weird, like, w- like where the roles are. And then like I was in the bathroom at work today and I remembered that there was a land that Nolly and Rise played together in the summer and they just whooped Vitality. And I was like, oh, that makes that they're fine. Sure. So I added it. We had the same one here. I think that's fine. There's a pretty obvious top six in England mm-hmm. uh, in terms of players. Three of them play for one team. So I think uh, I, w- I would agree. I think this team would just be, to be honest with you, terrorist ball. I think Ooh. that they would just be 
challenging constantly. And I think it allows Jack to go back to his, you know, natural position of a kind of ones focused uh, mechanical player uh, away from the sort of first man that he's been. But I think they would just be a mess to play against. Very gentle mates esque, actually, I think. Yeah, this would be a messy play style. This would be a physical, like, this is one of those teams that it's like, you might, ball. You, might, ball. you might beat us, but like, you're going to hate to play us. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're going to be banged up after this series. Yeah, no, night before, you got to know you got to play this team. You're just like sitting up like, oh, this is going to be awful. Terrible. I can't wait for this to be over. Yeah, totally. So we don't have to talk about that one too much. Like I said, pretty clear top six European players. Uh, I mean, sorry, top six English players, Freudian slip. Um, and uh, yeah, that would actually be quite fun. I can't believe only three of the players, Oxygen or those three, get to go to this, but it is what it is. Um, do you want to stay on that side on. of the pond? Yeah, yeah, let's do Saudi. What do you, what do you got for Saudi? Because we got a little difference here. Nobody's beating Falcons. I yeah, think we can yeah, we could it's... start there, but you know, let's just for fun. Uh, mm -hmm. I was thinking in the same way that you went cohesion in France, like previous cohesion. Mm -hmm. Um, if if I can go first, if that's okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Nalpo, I feel like you kind of got to start there. How can he not yeah. be on this team? Um, he's played alongside Ahmad, and right now Ahmad plays with Mawson. That's my three. <laughs> it's just, yeah, I mean, I so I changed Ahmad for S SMW. I don't know how you say his name. Fair enough. Um, and But I kept Nupo, and I kept uh, Mawson. Mm -hmm. Just because, um, like I said, I wanted to make this as realistic as possible. Did not seem like that rule one team ended very well. Uh, not sure if Ahmad would like to play with Nupo again. Mm -hmm. um, but I also think this team, I, I was thinking about maybe putting Venom here. Um, actually, you know, I'm going to do that just because I would like us to have different ones. I'll allow it. Uh, Moss, Moss, uh, sorry, SMW's kicked. Mawson is on. Actually, no, Mawson's kicked. I'm going to bring in Venom here. Because SMW is very much a defensive player in the vein of Rawas. Um, Venom is like just Mina Rettles. Like he just chases all game. And Nupo is, you know, give me the ball and get out of the way. Uh, there's a little bit of a play style clash with Venom and Nupo because they both need a lot of boost to do what they want to do. But I think like Mo Venom has gotten better over time and why anything's results have gotten better at kind of doing what he does on low boost. Um, but I think this is just kind of a discount Falcons team. It is. It's, <laughs> like, it's budget Falcons. Like, yeah. So, and then you just kind of pray they have a bad day and Nupo does a, has a Nupo day, um, on the field, of course, not off the field. We don't want him to have a Nupo day off the field. Um, oh but yeah, so that, that's our, I think the best shot, but as Mina regionals have shown, there's nobody that's beating this team. I think, um, you, you know, like Duolingo, it like gets harder as you try to learn the language. <laughs> I feel like if you're like an, an inboard RLCS fan, like the mm -hmm. final chapter should be like saying Mina names out Mina loud. Names. Yeah. Trying to figure out if the, my thing is, do the numbers all mean the same like vocal intonation or do they change? That's a good you question. Know, like Mawson, like that, like yeah. is that all the sevens or does, do sevens mean different things? Who else? Who um, else even falls within uh, Talem? I don't D think D seven D seven O O M is the Falcons coach. I don't know how to say his name. I'll figure Doom? that out. We'll get back to you on a few other ones. Yeah, Doom. But I don't know if it's yeah. like Dahum or something like that. So we'll, we'll figure it out. Thank you for showing up. I'm supposed to, to be a journalist. Today's podcast sponsored by Duolingo. So <laughs> yeah. glad we could. That was a very <laughs> brutal, organic dude. ad. Yeah. Well, you know what? We'll figure it out and we'll come back next time we have you on. We'll we'll break that down. We'll break down. Um, how to speak Arabic. That would be pretty cool. Oh, I'm that's glad what they that come here for. Dude. That's exactly what you should call on my expertise <laughs> yeah. for. Yeah. That, that, listen, you'll see two guys like us. What's the first thing you think? Those guys are fluent in Arabic. Those guys know what's yeah, up. Yeah, they know they know what they're talking about. But let's yeah. move on to the to the oh we'll do USA last because I think that's the one that has the most variance in like the final player. Yeah. Um let's do um Brazil. This one's fun because there's actually a lot of players. There are like that could be because they've actually all kind of beaten Furia, right? Complexity's yeah. beaten Furia. Uh, Team Seekers beaten Furia, or they didn't beat them, but they got farther than them. And then Nip beat Furia. So it's mm -hmm. like it's kind of fun. There's actually a lot of different combinations. Um, but yeah, what's yours? I wanted to pick and kind of spotlight the depth of talent and not mm -hmm. and not double dip into any of these teams. And I also wanted to go like veteran talent. They know mm. Furia. They're not intimidated by Furia. 
they can kind of slow things down and, and kind of beat them at their own game, knowing what they're trying to do. So I went Astromic, mm -hmm. who I guess now is officially nice. Astro. He's no mm -hmm. longer Astromic. We've dropped the Mick from the from the name. He's because he's not Mickey Mouse, man. Unbelievable. No more I Mick. Even, I didn't even consider that. And then KV1, yeah. got to have KV1 on the roster, really yeah. upped his offensive prowess over the course of mm -hmm. this season, formerly just a defensive mastermind. And then I dug deep. I grabbed Royalis. This is a good pick. I like from this From W7M. Yeah. Facilitator. He has been someone who has fostered a lot of the upcoming talent that we now see mm -hmm. that have diverted to other great teams. He was, you know, he had Wisty under his wing for a while before yeah. he was Diaz. gripped by Diaz as well. Um, so him and Astro have done a lot of talent development. They need like a lifetime achievement award, but when they retire or something, they both have developed talent. KV one has been developing. If you get mm -hmm. two of them, this is a development sandwich. We're about to see it's like KV one. You're like buffing. You're like adding buffs to KV one, like make him into Daniel. He's got know? two. He's got two supports <laughs> yeah. that are just feeding him. Yeah. So I actually going to change it because you made me think of one, but I'm not going to take any of your players. Okay. I wanted to do the two plus one thing, but I thought of a better team. Okay. Starting off with Swift because I believe that you need a Swift sort of like, like yeah. peak to beat Furia. You need someone mm -hmm. who can come on and just like go aura for aura with Yan and lost. Yep. Um, also going to keep KV one. Okay. Because actually I lied. No, no more KV one. Okay. I'm going to keep Mata instead because I need that. Oh, you're going I really young. That. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Mata because I I need that pop off. I need two guys who can really really like go mechanical with those players because that's how the Sam team likes to push. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, I got the best support player in Sam that's not named Rafinho. I'm taking AJG. Oh, and everyone's yeah. forgot about AJG, dude. But he's listen, so nasty. But like we were talking about complexity as like top five, top six in the world with CRR, Raze Bull, AJG. Now I got Swift, Mata, AJG. I've just remade complexity. Literally just remake complexity. You got two players who love to push the pace, who love to get active on the mechanical end, who love to score. And I got AJG just making things happen in the middle, keeping every everything in order. Uh, I think this team in real life should actually happen, even though I'd probably p pick a different player. I'd probably put KV1 there instead of uh, Mata, but I wanted to keep it fully different than yours. Mm -hmm. um, but I think this is like a team that actually would be really good at like outside of it. That if yeah. they team together, they'd be a top team in Sam. Um, and it's realistic, so... I guess gave some org a free idea loud if you want to stay in after Esports World Cup. You know, any of those big Brazilian orgs, MIBR, come come, come to me. I'll show you what a good team looks like. Hit up, uh, Michael. Yeah. Is there AJG, anybody... Swift. Real quick, has, has anybody's legacy been sullied more than AJG missing the open net? You know what? It's kind of his fault. Not for missing, but for teaming with a Spanish player. Because that just happens to Spain. I don't know what it is about those players, but they love to find a way to lose in the worst way possible. You that were talking complexity about... Team, man, go ahead. That complexity team suffered so many gruesome L's this year. That yeah. year. That last year. 3-2 up on phase to make the grand final in San Diego. 3-2-1 up with a wide open shot to win the series against Vitality in Boston. 3-2 up twice against Liquid and Carmine, choke both. And then, you know, it hasn't really been great since for that org. But, yeah, no, AJG, he needs his shot. And I think teaming up with these guys is going to be special stuff. I'm excited know. to see it in real life now that we've spoken yeah. it into existence. Totally. We're so back. Um, also, I'm going to actually have to – I just realized something. AJG is not Brazilian. So I'm actually going to put uh, KP1 sure. back in there. <laughs> And I was like, why didn't I think AJG? We were real excited why. about it. But listen, AJG, if you find a way, you know, you know, Argentina not looking too great from like a lifestyle standpoint right now. Just head over there, head over there to um to Brazil and maybe get one and we can make this happen. Anyway, so actually I'm stealing one of your players, KV1, Mata, Swift, my original team. Uh, let me let me have that, and we'll go to the USA. Wow, Finish I can't believe we just the... talked about that for so long, and I was just completely wrong. That's I was awful. right there with That's you. I was so there. excited, I didn't even no, think about it. No, because the idea just took over my head, and I was like, this is going to rock, and then uh, he, he wasn't born in Brazil. Who's a wick? Ah, it's stupid. These Anyways. Boys. Yeah. All right, stupid. the Bald yeah. Eagle. We need to have a global village. The Bald Eagle. Um, so I, I follow the two plus one on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to take Genji and put LJ on there. I feel like that's like the best team you could make uh, with at least existing chemistry. I don't think I have to explain it much. 
They're a great team, Gen G. They've beaten G2 before. Um, no disrespect to Jack. I feel like LG is a little bit better than him now. I'm not sure how the play style would be, but I'm just going to go balls to the wall and hope that we can figure something out by the time we have to see those boys. I think that would be a very mechanical team that mm-hmm. I would worry a ton about defensively. I yeah. went first killer, LJ, two-piece. Possibly mm-hmm. one of the best facilitators that, in North that's America. Such a, that's a team I want to see, though. Like, Me too. I, you, kind of, you won this round, I think. Thank you very much. And you know what? <laughs> that that if, if we could have like a four-man roster, if you were to combine yeah. the four players that we have, like you got the chronic and two-piece synergy from back in the day, yeah. First killer and chronic now, LJ and two piece kind of coming in where you need them. Well, they play yeah, different they were, styles. They were, uh, I think they played a little twos together too. So yeah, be good. Team. Yeah, no, that's like the that's the group, right? That's the non G two group of players. I feel like everyone's yeah. like if they can, that's like the next tier. There's down. your that's your seven right there. I would love for mist to still be mist because I feel like if I could get LJ FK mist, like. That's just phase, but like with a better sip, I think we could probably probably take down him as long as FK and, and Miss could play together again. But mm. he's just not who he used to be. I miss my demon, my demon goal line, North American savior. He used to just carry us in all these lands. Brutal. Nick Costello. Yeah, demon. Uh, he won't be forgotten in my head. Just know that. I'll never forget him. Um, but yeah, let's move on. That was fun. I feel like there's a lot of actual realistic rosters except for the one with AJG. And I'm really excited to see this happen. I think it's going to be like a lot of a lot of fun. I agree. Are we finishing with some speed taking? Is this a three hour we podcast are. yet? Uh, we are. We're pulling up on about two hours, I think. Uh, I mean, we had some. We did have some tech difficulties. So we did probably around an hour forty, but usually three of us make an hour forty. So right. we have been yapping. You got to get uh, the people what they want. You know. Yeah, exactly. They want me to talk more. And they don't want Jens and Hootie to talk, so this is going to be the best episode, yeah. I think. I'm Lou Will um, off the bench. I'm coming in. I'm taking 15 shots. We're just, we're just. This is like Rudy Gay and Lou Will and the Raptors. Oh my god. We're not. Gosh. We might not be winning, but we're having fun and we're shooting. Uh, I gave my body a tingle. That was a segment of the Shift Cast. If you want to catch the full episode, you can check it here on the YouTube channel or on Spotify. Thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time.